This is the CEO's chair. This is where the decision maker sits. This is where the boss man sits. This is where the rubber meets the road. How do you get into this chair? Well, we'll discuss that and more in just a few seconds. Not too long ago, I did a video why every single man needs an LLC. And it did really well and a lot of people had something to say. But I don't think that I did a good job because a lot of you have not taken advantage of this. And let's talk about taking advantage of this. One of the main problems that people make is waiting until the last moment. Every man needs this. And we know we had that person who was saying, it doesn't work, you know, this won't protect you. It will get you in so much legal problems. Legal problems, so much legal problems. Grammatically incorrect that she was trying to check me on what she does not know about. I was sitting here thinking, I am living this life because of the power of an LLC. And I really said, you know what? We have not really did a good job, Glenn and Cameron, of educating the people on why. Because this is the thing, you're gonna pause, you're not gonna do it, you think that it's gonna be too much regulatory headaches, it, it's not a reason for you to set yourself up on this path because there's no pain right now. As you move forward, and you get married or you have a kid with a woman, you're gonna remember, if you don't take action now, you're gonna remember these words. You could have been protected. I'm gonna bring in some that, you know, it's kinda of in the course, but I feel the need to update you on this. There are things that are called marital assets and there are things that are called non-marital assets. Y'all remember the OJ trial? The Goldman families, they got his Heisman, they got everything, but they couldn't get his pension. There are certain things that are off the table regardless of who sues you, regardless of how much money the mother of your child wants. That if you establish these things before you get into harm's way, harm's way is like, er, it's like we, no, do not go, do not pass. Do, you can't get past this. You, you can't handle this. You can't touch this. Circa MC Hammer. But a lot of you dudes are waiting until the last moment. I get so many emails like, look, hey, uh, I got sued for child support. No, I didn't go. And now I'm in the rears for $20,000. I'm in the rears for $30,000. What did I do? <sighs> An ounce of prevention is worth a million pounds of cure in this situation. This is something that's not gonna cost you a ter terrible amount of money and it will provide you protection in case you get caught up, jammed up, or put in a certain situation. There'll be women who will criticize this video because as I discussed on my Disruptive Mail channel, and I actually put up a really juicy video called a 99% video, check it out. Go to Disruptive Mail on YouTube, you'll find me. As independent as some women are, and some women are truly independent. There are some women that get divorced, it's like, look, you, you pay me X and you do this, we good. I don't want your mother's heirlooms. I don't want your Corvette. I, I don't want any of that stuff. And there's that other chick who will be hell bent on making you suffer financially for the rest of your life or as long as she can pull it off because she is mad. Because she's unhappy. She is losing it. She is just out of control because she made some bad decisions based upon some bad advice and now she's jammed up. Now she's got a problem and there ain't nobody to help her because one of the things that you should understand, I don't care who you married when a divorce or a separation or a child enters the picture, that woman will not be the same person that you got with the night before, six months before, a year before, two years, will not be the same person. It's not gonna happen. So you can go ahead and pretend that you did not hear this video 
and you can go ahead and live your life and I wish you the best of luck. I hopefully that your romantic situations go well. I hope that you will never need these tactics. But if you do, they're here and they're very inexpensive. And oh yeah, we teach you how to make more money as well. Because every man needs a family LLC. Every man needs estate planning. Because you know, if you're a low expectation dude, you don't plan on having shit in your life. Okay, fine, don't ignore this video. But if you're someone who wants to build a legacy, who wants to be a man of distinction, who wants to have property, who wants to own businesses, who wants to have wealth and influence, you need to go below and get the Hustlers LLC. And it's not cheap. It's not gonna be cheap, it's not gonna be $99. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a payment plan for those of you who are not where you need to be. For those of you who have grand ambitions, but you don't have grand ambition money right now. I got you, I got you. All of that information is below because what you should do, what you should set up is a barrier of protection because I was having this conversation with a banker the other day and it was a brother and we were just talking and he's like, I don't understand why people will not structure this stuff. He's like, I sit in this branch all day long seeing people who are protected. You know what my annual registration was for my LLCs? $450. Now it's only $50. It's only $50. Yes, there's the ones you know about and there's the ones you don't know about. We'll discuss that. We'll discuss proxies. We'll discuss several different things. But once again, if you're not that dude, if you don't want to set something up to protect yourself in the future, because the thing is, honestly, it is insurance policy. It's like, you know, your homeowner's insurance, like your car insurance, like your drone insurance. You may not need it, but boy, give you a, I crashed my drone in London. Now my, ref my DGI refresh care was $149 plus $99 for the first incident and it's $149 for the second incident. I spent $1,500 for this drone. So I'm currently $250 in the hole and I have a brand new, matter of fact, they sent me a brand new drone because they received it and let me tell you how it works. You send in your old drone and as soon as they get it, they send you a brand new drone for 99 bucks. And if I crash it again, I will have to spend 149. And then after that, I have a backup, which I'll discuss later. If you are really caring about your future, if you care about what precious assets that you will have and earn in this life, it's hard making money. I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, it's easy making money. It's hard making money. It is fucking hard to make a million dollars a year. I know you have the Lambo boys on here like, oh, it's just super easy. You can make it a million. I call bullshit on that. You know why I call bullshit on that? Because the average American is suffering. 70% of the people who are in this country don't make 70 G's a year, let alone a fucking million dollars a month. Get the fuck out of here. That's nonsense. But once you do figure out how to make money, how to set yourself up, guess what happens? You become a man of distinction. You become very, very attractive. You will have women coming out the woodwork for you. When I was writing my first book, because Making Money A to Z with Self Storage and Auctions is the second book, I interviewed 200 women. Do you know how many women? And you know what? I'm going to put this. I'm going to give someone a free hoodie for the first person to correctly guess how many women, and this is the phrase you need to use because you just put numbers there. I may forget. Uh, Glendon, I think X amount of women told you that they married this man for security. Now I interviewed probably 250 over, let's just say over 200. Guess how many women said I married this man for security and I did not love him. Just put in the comments, first person that gets it, gets a fat cat secret hoodie. I want you to be protected. I want you to experience a level of comfort, ease, and peace of mind by putting together 
this legal structure that protects you in the future. I want you to think about something because there was only one woman who came on the channel who was like, this ain't gonna work. Why did she come to a video aimed at men? Cause she has a situation. She has a problem. She's going through it and maybe her husband has something, maybe he doesn't, but she's digging cause she needs information cause she's trying to get that dude. She is, she's trying to get him. And hopefully in her mind that her dude does not see that video. Because once again, I get a lot of y'all, I uh, understand your situation. I understand the things that you're going through, but you are waiting the last minute. You are actually losing out. You're actually setting yourself up to be plucked like a duck at Christmas because you don't want to take out some preventive measures that you may not need for 10 years. You may not need it for 10 years, but I guarantee you, just like when you crash your car and you got State Farm and you like, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there, bam. And a State Farm agent pops up out of nowhere. Hi, I'm Steve, your State Farm agent. I will blast the fuck out of whoever hits you. Like a good neighbor, Steve, your State Farm agent is there. That's my State Farm agent. He's a motherfucker. I implore you to go ahead and get busy. I implore you to set yourself up very nicely because if you want to protect yourself, if you want to build something, because this is the thing, there are not many people who build stuff today. There's not a lot of creators. There's not a lot of people building businesses. There are a lot of people who want to earn a high income and not do that much. That's the savory sauce. That's what so many of these hucksters and scam artists and internet marketers get you gassed up on that you can make a lot of money and absolutely do not that much. For me, it doesn't work that way. For my courses, it doesn't work that way. You have to apply yourself. You'll have to put some skin in the game. I don't think there's a free lunch. Um, I hadn't talked about Bitcoin in a minute, but for some reason, it just keeps struggling. I don't know what the price is now, but I saw that Google and Facebook are no longer going to allow their ads. Cause it's a lot of scammy shit. But you know, there's still people who are holding on because they can believe they can make a lot of money for actually not doing anything. The uh, term to that is called rent seeking, which is where you make money for not creating substantial improvements in service or product. So this is what has put the United States in this situation. Uh, we've become a rent, rent seeking nation. This is why we offshored all these jobs and outsourced them, moved here, and we crippled the American base. We crippled the American people because Everybody wants to make the money, but nobody wants to get their hands dirty. Well, gentlemen, we're going to get our hands dirty. We're going to get some mud on our face. We're going to get sweaty. We're going to get stanky and we're going to build stuff and we're going to create stuff and we're going to build LLCs. We're going to do this and you're going to create a situation where you're going to probably be the only dude in your circle of friends who's situated and protected. Because most folks don't want to be proactive. They wait until the horse has left the barn and then scream for help versus doing the maintenance on the fence. Maintenance on the fence would have been like 30 minutes, some nails, a lock, losing that horse, thousands of dollars. So be proactive. Take me up on this offer to set your life up because, you know, and I'm not bragging and I'm not being an elitist, but my two vehicles, which people keep talking about, gives me a net worth of more than 80% of the people in this country, maybe 90. These two vehicles, because they're paid for, gives me a greater net worth than 80 to 90% of the people in this country. Because collectively, they're worth like 60 grand. That's it. So 60 grand in assets that are paid off 80% of the country, maybe 90%. And then, oh, if I get into, and just, this is just, and this is all depreciating assets. This is not the appreciating stuff. You go ahead with the computers and the camera equipment and we're at hundred G's in just that. And we're going to talk about how to build net worth because listen to me guys, 
You can't have a lot of debt and have a lot of net worth. You can't. I don't care. Uh, hold this, you know, buy real estate. Lev you cannot have a lot of net worth with a lot of debt. And I honestly believe that we're heading toward a recession. Toys R Us just closed a lot of stores. They're going to close all of them. Toys R Us is going away. That's where I got Steve from. We're going through this big transformational shift in American society, probably global society. And if you are not an owner, you're going to lose. If you're not an owner or you're not hooked up with an owner, your wife's an owner, your husband's a owner, you're going to lose. This current administration is a disaster. It's going to get worse. I know they're building up apartments, they're throwing up houses, the real estate market's roaring, the stock market is roaring, but the average man is suffering. Gas going up, food going up, big screen televisions going down, video games going down. The things that you don't need are coming down in price, but the things you need are going up. Health insurance going up. Take heart and really think about this. Now, what are we going to teach you in the Hustlers LLC? Number one, you have got to get your ass out of debt. There, I saw this in some of the groups where they were attempting to build net worth while they were in a lot of debt. It doesn't happen. Here's the thing. As long as you're healthy, as long as nothing bad happens and you play that game well, you can win. But what if you get laid off? What if you get sick? What, what if, there's a lot of what ifs and these things have happened. Uh, 2009, I was sick. 2009, my partner was developed with the diagnosed with cancer. Did I lose my car? No. Did I lose my house? No. Because I had prepared for that moment when times were good. A lot of you are waiting and wasting good times. And then when things get bad, there's these GoFundMes. I saw this sad, sad post on Facebook today. There's this lady and, you know, say a prayer for her. You know, she has breast cancer. Hopefully she'll beat it. And she had been into this multi-level marketing thing for 16 years and they were trying to raise $27,000 for her. I'm not being dismissive, but $27,000 is not a lot of money for someone who's been into something for 16 years. That money should have been saved up. And I'm not hating and I'm not berating, but what I'm saying is, when times are good, you need to put money away. When times are good, you need to put some nuts away when times are good. And most of the time, times are good. I had a situation where one of my businesses just wasn't working. I could have been like the average business owner, just kept throwing money at it, kept throwing money at it. And this time, next year, I've lost a few hundred thousand dollars and this is one of the things that we'll talk about. When do you close a business? You know, and I got people like, oh, Glenda don't have no money. Glenda's going to get his shit repossessed. Glenda, blah, 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 blah. Because I know you motherfuckers, Alex. Yes, your little slimy little bitch. Uh, you want to see me lose. But I just keep winning and winning and winning. Because that was my exit strategy. And anyone that has built a business knows that when you put the business plan together, you have an exit strategy. A lot of you don't even know that. And I exited about 11 months before I had to because I just saw where it was going and I knew that I did not want to be that kind of consultant. So I shut that office down, I sold everything and I'm going to be doing videos and making stuff in the basement where I'm currently am in my other office. Oh yeah, I still have an office, Alex, you little bitch, because I know you're watching this and you're going to keep watching me rise and you're going to keep getting mad. And you know what? I like your anger and I like your pettiness. I do because it makes my internal child giggle. And I have this option because I put nuts away and I don't listen to people because like right now, Everything's going good. Listening to conventional wisdom. You should be putting money in the market. You should be buying the house. You should be leveraging your ass to the eyeballs. I don't know about that. Right now, it looks very much like 2007 to me. 2007, this guy comes into my warehouse. And he's going to buy this bunk bed set for his twin daughters. 
It has pissy mattresses. I put it up and this is how I sold it. It's like bunk bed mattress frame mattresses are free because I wasn't selling the mattresses. 70 bucks. So he gave me that 70 bucks and told me about his company and how he had to lay off 12 people and how he was barely making it. Toys R Us, other things that are happening. I, I feel it's 2007 again, 2007, 2008. I really do. But once again, I could be wrong. I could be 100% wrong. But if I'm not, and you follow this advice, you'll be good. You'll be situated. You'll be safe. You'll be protected. I don't know about you, but I would want to be protected. I would want to be in a situation that when all this shit melts down, I can take my cash and make it go much further. I can get more assets. I can get more uh, appreciating assets. I can get more non-depreciating assets because, well, yeah, depreciating assets because they're going to drop like a rock. Everything's going to change. It's going to be carnage. It's going to be chaos. And then for those folks who are not used to working, because this is how it's going to go down. You've got your disposable income, right? So all of those people who had disposable income, Jamie lose a job, Bill lose a job, go from a two income family to a one income family. All of a sudden we count our pennies. We're not ordering those 1695 pennies off of Amazon. We're going to Target and getting the eight pack for 899 because we need to make our money go much further. Oh, this whole thing is going to vibrate through the whole economy. It's coming. And then for those of you who haven't prepared, Let's say the mother of your child has been cool because, you know, she ain't really been hurt. You know, she's been able to get a job. She's able to do what she needs to do. All of a sudden, she loses her job. Oh, I got a father of these kids. Mr. Man, Mr. Man, Mr. Man. Oh, you're $35,000 in arrears. They're taking money out your check. Your lights got cut off because you're paying your child support. I'm just saying. These are true stories. These are facts. This is what's going to happen. If you're sufficiently alarmed and you should be, go below and you have two ways to get into this. Full boat is fifteen hundred bucks. Now, for those of you on the payment plan, I will get on the phone to talk to you after you complete your payment plan. So there's been some of you have been asking for this and this is for the hustlers. LLC, which was formerly known the Fat Cat Secrets. So for all the folks in the hustle camp, don't be freaking out. It. It's just changed the name to make it more appropriate to the tone and the substance and the complexion of the channel. It's below. Go ahead and get that. And I will see you in the course. And yes, you will be added to the course on the payment plan. Only thing is you just don't get to speak to me. People who pay full boat, Yes, you get to speak to me and I'll help you and I'll talk to you about any questions you have. Uh, folks who are on the payment plan, you just get the course and that's it. And then after your final payment, you get to speak to me. That's how it goes down. All right, I'll see you gentlemen later. Maybe a live stream today, may not, I don't know. But keep your finger on that subscribe button and you'll be alerted. Touch that bell and all that other jazz. And I will see you in the next video.